How is it going everybody? You're watching then about tech. So what do you do if your iPhone just freezes? Let's say it just froze in the home screen or any other app for that matter. Uh, and then you press on the screen, you tap on the screen, nothing happens. You try to go home and it just won't respond. You try even to turn it off, turn, turn the screen off, turn the power, turn the phone off and it just won't respond. Even if you plug the charger, nothing. Uh, this may happen with the screen on. Uh, as you can see, my phone is not frozen, it's fine, but uh, it can happen with the screen on or even with the screen off and it just um, it just won't do anything. It, it just denies to do anything. Well, in this video, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to teach you how to force restart your iPhone. And as you guys can see, I'm going to show that on a new, brand new iPhone 11 Pro and on an old iPhone 6 right here. So I'm going to show you this process for every single iPhone model because it varies a little bit. So in other words, I got you covered. I'm going to show you how you can bypass that, how you can actually force your, your iPhone to turn off and turn back on and be back to normal. And of course, you will not lose any data. Okay. And this process is completely harmless. You will, you won't lose anything. Okay. Now enough of the talking, let's go ahead and get started. And let me show you how you can do that in action. So let's start with older phones first. Okay. So that's why I'm, I'm getting my iPhone six right here. Uh, and I'm going to show you how that works. So this first part process is for iPhones that have a physical home button, as you guys can see right here. Uh, so this process goes from the iPhone one, the original iPhone, uh, called as iPhone 2G, if you still have one laying around, <laughs> like pretty good, uh, all the way to the iPhone 6S. So that includes 6X Plus, the iPhone 6 Plus, and the iPhone SE, and then you can go uh, older than that as well, okay? As I mentioned, this is an iPhone 6. So if you have an iPhone with a physical home button that you can press and it goes in, it's not a vibration like the iPhone 7, no, it's a physical go home button, uh, that's the process. All you have to do, uh, as I mentioned, the screen can be on like that and unresponsive, or even the screen can be off, completely off. So all you have to do is press and hold the power button, okay, right here, or it can be at the top as well, depending on your phone, and then press and hold the home button as well. So press and hold both buttons at the same time. So I'm gonna do that right now like this. So I'm pressing and holding both buttons, and I'm gonna keep pressing and holding both of them until I see the Apple logo. So it turns off this Apple logo you let go so it's just a few seconds as you guys can see it, it turns off automatically and then you see the Apple logo you let go all you have to do now is wait and as I mentioned this process is completely harmless all it's doing is forcing the phone to restart uh, it's not resetting it's not formatting nothing like that it is just turning off and turning back on like you do with your computer when you press the restart button so then uh, this iPhone is pretty old so I'm um, just gonna have to just gonna have to be patient patient if you want to see that in real time. So as you can see, we got it. So it's back in action. So it's working again normally, okay? Now, let's say you have an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus. As I mentioned, an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, they have a virtual home button, as that's called. So that means that uh, when you press the button, it doesn't go in, It does. there's no travel in. It is actually just a feeling, a vibration. And when the phone is off, you press it, it is nothing. It's just a sheet of glass, it's not a button, okay? So if you have uh, an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, the process is slightly different. All you have to do is press and hold the volume down button, Okay, so right here and the power button at the same time. I'm not gonna do it right with this phone because as I said, this is an iPhone 6. So if I do this, nothing will happen. But if you have an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, volume down and power button the exact same way I showed you on this device. So press and hold and then it's gonna turn off. When you see the Apple logo, you let go and then the, the iPhone will do the rest of the process on its own, okay? So this is the process for the iPhone all the way from the iPhone 1 to the iPhone 7 Plus, okay? Now, for all the new iPhones out there, there's just one process. So if you have uh, an iPhone from the iPhone 8 all the way to the iPhone uh, 11 Pro Max, which is this one, it is the exact same process. So what are those iPhones? I'm gonna go one by one so you have no question. So an iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, iPhone 10, iPhone 10R, iPhone 10S and 10S Max, and iPhone 11, 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. So if you have either one, uh, either one of those iPhones and you have it stuck, it's frozen, it's unresponsive, that's, that's what you need to do. Uh, you're gonna press the volume up and release, press the volume down and release, 
and press and hold the power button or the side button as it is now called on those new devices. So now in action, so volume up and let go, volume down and let go, press and hold the side button. So as you guys can see, I'm just pressing and holding the side button. So I'm not pressing any volume keys or anything like that. With those new devices, you just press and hold one button, which is the power button. You don't press and hold the volume or anything like that. You see the Apple logo, you let go, as you saw. As soon as I saw the Apple logo, you let go. Because if you don't, if you just keep holding, that will make your iPhone just turn off. Okay, uh, and that's not the idea here. The idea is to force a restart. So turn off and turn back on. So then that's why when you see the Apple logo, you have to immediately uh, release any buttons that you're pressing. Okay, so that's it. As you guys can see, it just booted up again, uh, normally working 100% fine. And then as I mentioned, it is harmless. You don't lose any of your data. There's no risk of anything like that uh, being messed up with your iCloud, your passcode or anything like that. It is 100% safe. So this process works for 90% of situations, okay? 90% of the situations that you see are an iPhone frozen or uh, unresponsive or anything, this will work. If this does not work, there are only two other possibilities. One, you have uh, a corrupt iOS, so probably you have a problem with your iOS, or you have a hardware issue. So if you have a corrupt iOS, you have to uh, format your iPhone, so restore it. I have a video for that. This video, in this video, I actually teach how to remove a passcode, but it's the exact same same process. So I'm gonna link that in the description. So you have to, to format it with a computer using iTunes or using Finder, you're gonna need to format it, okay? So then in that process, you will lose all your data. Uh, but if even doing that, it doesn't work, the format uh, bit, the reset uh, 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 method, then you have to contact Apple support because probably you have a, a display malfunction, there's something wrong with your hardware and there's no process in the world on YouTube that will help you because you have to check your hardware, okay? So that's what I recommend. 